welcome to the Scrap Heat Challenge Grand Final. The stakes are high as this year's champions battle last year's winners, the mighty Wolf Justice. Building mad cat machines from our sea of scrap, each of them desperate to win this, the Rings of Steel Trophy. They'll have to construct machines like these, amphibious vehicles. But as this is the grand final, there's a sting in the tail. Engines are banned. First up are this season's winners, and these military machine enthusiasts from Berkshire are crazy for camouflage. Shouting the commands falls to Captain Bob. While taking the orders on the heap will be Paul. And his fellow scavenger, check. Hetted Sean hits the rusty regiment. Aiming to pierce those guys' armor are the reigning Scrap Heat Challenge Champion of Champions. They're a trio of police dog handlers from Newcastle who know a thing or two about dealing with tools. Leading these canine coppers is Simon, while sipping out vital scrap falls to Neil and Jeff. They're not barking, they're worth justice. Welcome to the grand final teams. You must build manphibious machines. Vehicles that are as happy on land as they are in water. Oh, not water. <laughs> not water again. But be warned, these babies must be human powered. Teams, you have just 10 hours. Go on the sound of the gong. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. <laughs> Amphibious vehicles. <laughs> no, oh, oh, a <laughs> Your little legs Big. won't do oh, yeah. that. With being pedal powered, I think a uh, good idea to push bikes. I've got an idea. How about going in with oil drums? We'll put four push bikes in a lane, join these all together with a frame. We'll, we'll have a pole through here. Bob, that's not a picture of anything. Look at what you're drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so the key points we're thinking about is the propulsion on propulsion. land, obviously, buoyancy, Propulsion on water and steering. In lightness. Which should Easy. be all right. It's all yeah. done, isn't it? <laughs> Our reigning champion of champions seem confident. But as there's so much honour at stake, we've recruited two experts who know all about turning muscle power into propulsion. To help keep the rusty regiment afloat, we've brought in a recumbent bike specialist. He's been building and racing his own bicycles for over five years, and as a member of the British Human Power Club, is a master of making muscle power a force to be reckoned with. He's Rob Gillians. So what have we got so far then? Well, we, what we're thinking is um, two large drums driven by a, a sprocket, pedal. All right. The problem we've got with this one is if we lose a chain, we're scuppered. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. OK. But the paddles are great. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Penny farthings like that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to float that on a pontoon, but instead of having the wheel above the pontoon, we'll have the wheel dip below it. Yeah, simple. Yeah. So expert Rob has stripped his team's paddle-based plans down to take a more simplistic approach. Using the shape of the penny farthing as inspiration, they aim to build a huge front wheel capable of fitting four burly bodges in. Attach paddles onto it and connect a small wheel on the back for steering. A central spindle threaded through the wheel will enable two large floats to be fixed either side, making the machine a huge hamster wheel on land and a paddle boat on water. But one false step could send them spinning out of the race. If we get it right, we won't even get our feet wet. Helping Woof Justice is also a recumbent bike specialist who's a design engineer by trade and has a scrappy pedigree. His laid-back approach helped the jailbreakers build a clockwork car in Series 5. And now he's winding up for more. He's Nick Green. Do you want to give us an idea of what you've been... Well, what we thought was obviously something nice and light. Uh, the idea of four push bikes in lane. Now, one of the things I would be careful about is tying all the bikes together, because there's a danger it's all going to get way too flexible. Right. Right. The general idea would be to have four paddle wheels right. uh -huh. um, at each corner, and the riders 
in a more of a recumbent position. Yeah. Um, and you're each person's driving a wheel. Uh -huh. Right. Because if we link all the transmissions together, it's going to break. Yeah. Veteran expert Nick and his team have agreed pedal power is the way to go. Woof Justice aim to build a light, articulated chassis, attach four wheel hubs and connect paddles to them. Each wheel will be fitted with an upturned bike transmission to provide independent power to each wheel. Once in the water, it'll have great manoeuvrability. They get the gearing wrong and they'll be left high and dry. So what we're making is a mid-articulated pedal lure type yeah. thing. Right, so what do we need? Got spokes. Just scaffolding steel, something like that. Yeah, scaffold pole would be great. Wood. Uh, we need the plywood. Light, lightweight steel tubing. My word. It's going to be big. And it won't be beautiful. The I'm going to go out because you're having problems with your back. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll do that and I'll put Acton Captain on <laughs> there. <laughs> Let's stop wasting time still. and go. Yeah. Go. Go up. Go up. With the lists of scrap sorted, both teams are going to have to rely on their carnal bodging know-how for this Back to Basics Grand Final Challenge. Oh, oh, oh. So, will it be the rusty regiment who get off to a firing start? Or Wolf Justice that collar all the best parts? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the Scrap Heap Challenge Grand Final, where our two top teams have started scavenging parts for their human-powered amphibious craft. Yes, mate. Look for things. With less than 10 hours to build these amphibious machines, each team is on the heap in search of vital scrap. Now, go right round that way, go round the heap that way, and I'll go okay. round the heap between. Sniffing out the first find is Geordie Canine Copper Neil. Simon, there's one bike across here. That should do. But they need four separate bicycles for their all-terrain pedalo. Luckily, Neil's making light work in finding them. Which is good, as his fellow scavenger is newly demoted Captain Simon, a rookie on the heap. Woof justice, welcome back to the heap. It's lovely to have you back. You happy to be back? Yes, yes. I'm a bit strange about being out in a scavenging out here, I was going to say, your captain's crossed out. Somebody's written scrounging, scrounging on the top. What's going on with yeah. that? Jeff's got a bad back, so oh, is he? I've given him a little bit of a respite in there. Talk me through your idea. You're going to have this as the buoyancy aid. This is the buoyancy aid, which is going to be underneath. Then we're going to have wheels made out of push bike wheels, four people driving, four separate wheels, articulated in the middle, um, and big paddles on the wheels. It's, it's not an easy one, I have no, to say. No. When you said I'm amphibious vehicle, I was over the moon until I missed a bit about manphibious. <laughs> well, look, guys, it's a, it's a really big old challenge. We've only yep. got 10 hours to try and do it. Do you want to hold on to that Rings of Steel trophy? Oh, of course. Of course. So it looks like these police dog handlers from Newcastle haven't lost any of their old scrap heap sparkle. Uh, poopy, we're going to make a big circle up. Back on the heap and snapping at Wolf Justice's heels are the Rusty Regiment. Oh, it's a big bit, isn't it? They've found an old steel support for an ornamental glass roof, which could make ideal rims for their giant hamster wheel. Hunt for some more of this. Okay. If not, we have to put it back in the heap. OK. Paul? Yeah? Got another one. Bring it over, chug it with that one, then. I've got another one. Have you? Yeah, another one here. Bob, I found some um, bits of hoopy steel, inch and a half by about three quarters of an inch. Yeah, that'll do. Bring it in. Just yeah, bring it in. Bring it in, Paul. Fantastic. Good find. <laughs> the Rusty Regiment have never had it so good. <laughs> Back in the Rusty Regiment's build area, the arched steel has been dropped off. An expert Rob and Captain Bob are going round in circles. We'll chalk a line round. Yeah. At about ten foot. Yeah. Mark our axle, and then that will help us with the welding as well, because we'll have a we'll have a frame then. Yeah. But being thorough now could save them a building headache later. They're aiming to build a huge hamster wheel by fabricating two rims, supported by cross braces with ten paddles attached to them. 
Mesh wrapped around the inside of the wheel allows the team to walk unhindered. But for this huge hamster wheel design to work, both rims need to be identical. If they're not, the wheel will be wonky, causing the machine to slope, leaving the rusty regiment going round in circles. All we need to do is get the floor clear and let's mark out a line. Righty ho, that's good to me. So as they draw a line under their design... On the heap, scavengers Paul and Czech are concentrating on finding scrap that'll float. That is not big enough. No, I've counted five of these. They're, what, four or five gallons, something like that? Yeah, but that's only going to keep... 18.9 That'll keep me afloat a little bit, but there's four people, all that still... Absolutely. Hello. Oh, Hello. Right, right Have you got any, got any flotation gear on you? Not, not immediately. I could probably get something. Are, are we you saw... looking to sell some flotation, mate? Yeah. Well, that was yeah. looking to buy. <laughs> we did saw a great big chunk of polystyrene, but um, ah, I think Wolf Justice may have. I think they, I think we may have been novelled by the law. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but did you mark it though as yours? Did you mark your territory, or you just sort well, of noticed I, it? I'm civilized. It? I don't do that kind of thing. Ah, you see, Wolf Justice don't hang about. They just get in there. No. And get it. Yes. Clearly. Yeah. Bad men. <laughs> so what is the, the idea well, no, of what you're making then? Is it what is it like a? It's not a boat then. It's no, it's a, a uh, hamster, wheel. Hamster, hamster wheel. A hamster wheel yeah. that you're running inside of. Yes. yes. And that goes along the ground. Yeah. And in the water with paddles. Right, and then but then so you need something then on the outside of that that floats it. Yes. That keeps it afloat. Yes. Yeah, uh, <gasps> I know. I like it though. Do you? Yeah. Do you want to pedal? <laughs> no, but... With just empty water bottles to keep them afloat, they're going to need all the help they can get. Check. I can't see that working unless we, unless we, unless we find a lot more of those. They're not going to work. We would better carry on looking for something else. There must be something else about. Then, oh, then there are pieces of metal that float. I hope you're not looking at those blue oil drums. They're lovely oil drums. I've been there, done it. The past has come back to haunt Paul. They got more leaks than a Welsh allotment. On his first visit to the heap, Paul had to work with exactly the same barrels. Oh, they're all stuck together. Are they welded or stuck together? Paul? No, welded. No. That is not going to work. And he had an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I'm not playing unless I really, really have to with okay. them. I don't like them. OK. So, as the rusty regiment scavenge stalls... By contrast, there's no stopping with justice. Neil, go ahead. What's that, uh, is that ply in the side of that horse box? Barking the orders is demoted Captain Simon, who just can't help himself. See if you can knock them out, Neil. But it's paying off. They're stripping the heap of plywood, which is ideal to make the wheel hubs and the paddles for their all-terrain pedalo. There you go. <laughs> There's another two of these. That's ideal because it gives us the wood and the structural steel. It's a genius scavenge, killing three birds with one stone and saving Wolf Justice valuable build time. Whilst Wolf Justice's mood is positively buoyant. Next door, the rusty regiment are struggling to keep their build afloat. Floaters. Well, well actually, with that's all the flotation I can take. Um, there's no polystyrene. The feeding dog handlers has nicked it, swiped it. They have. Um, they, I can't just can't find anything. While Paul groans to deaf ears, a scavenger check is still scouring the heap. Surely he'll stumble across something which will float. Building a vehicle that can drive on land and in the water is no easy feat. So for this grand final, we needed a very special judge. Our Mr Amphibious is a transport historian who not only runs an amphibious vehicle museum, but has actually driven across the channel in his very own amphi car. So what he doesn't know about vehicles which traverse turf and surf isn't worth knowing. He's Doug Hilton. Hi there, Doug. <laughs> We've got a, a very intriguing challenge, I think, this week. They've really got a quite a... It's, it's quite a tall ask, isn't it, really? It is. You've got to keep it light enough to pedal on land, but it's got to be buoyant enough to float in water. Yeah. 
bit of buoyancy adds to the weight on the land. Yes. Wolf Justice, I quite like their idea, just because I've been in a sort of pedal boat at the seaside where you pedal along and it goes along. So I've, you know, I've experienced that, at least, that concept working on yeah. water. Whereas the Rusty Regiment, I haven't actually used a hamster wheel pedal boat on the seaside. If it works properly, they have 100% direct drive on both yes. land, especially yes. on land. Especially on land, you're right, yes. And on the water, the main problem will be they could potentially get up a tremendous speed in that wheel. Right, right. But you've got four big blokes yeah. <laughs> in, in a thing that's only a metre and a half wide. I mean, they're going to be pop, popping out of it, I should think. Do you reckon this floats? Only if your little legs could pedal it. If you had to use one of these machines, at the moment, the way we know they are, who do you put your money on? If the wheel is set up right and the paddles are effective, I think the hamster wheel. Oh, really? You go for the mm. hamster wheel? Yeah, I do. Because with the um, Wolf Justice machine, they're having to pedal through because they're virtually one to one. If their machine is heavy because it's carrying the buoyancy necessary yeah. to float them in the water, they might have a tremendous job pedalling it. But at the moment, your money's on the Rusty Regiment. Subject to what they're doing with the paddles. Yes. And subject to them dancing on the step at the same time. I would say that's a very good proviso. Yeah, <laughs> they're big guys. <laughs> <laughs> And there's two shafts, there's that one, and there's that one. So having the lead on the rusty regiment hasn't won Wolf Justice any favours with our judge. I tell you what, they're straight and they're not going to bend, or they've got the bearings to fit them. Beggars can't be choosers, bunny lad. This is true, young man, this is true. They're now cutting up a printing press for its shafts to use as axles on their all-terrain pedalo. Although the weather has turned against our reigning champions, there's no sign of it holding them back. So, them, I mean, they're a bit heavy, them, really, but, I mean, that's what we've well, got, so that's what we've got. So, with the scavenging almost finished, acting Captain Jeff is keen to stamp his authority. Come on, let's chat, more work. Shut up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> See, are you enjoying, are you enjoying this semi-retirement? Look. It says Acton. That's what it says, Acton. Ah, but that still means I'm in charge. In an attempt to solve the Rusty Regiment's buoyancy problems, Czech is pilfering some drainage pipe from right under the canine copper's noses. They asked us for them. Are they yours? They're right outside our bull area, aye? We're going to use them. That doesn't necessarily mean they're yours, does it? Yes, it does. Does it? It does indeed, sir. They're oh. ours. Paper, scissors, stone. What's, Go on. What, uh, what, so what are, exactly are we going to get in exchange for these? <sighs> what have we got to bargain with? Hey, the little wee plywood? one. Plywood. Plywood. <laughs> do, do you have any or not? Uh, plywood, no. No. I'm trying to think where you there is plywood. You don't have a great lot of, to bargain with here, do you? Uh... Go on, take them away. I'll let you have them. No, <laughs> I'll let you show you. Uh, grand finalists, your attention please. You have six hours remaining today. Six hours build time remaining. Thank you. Although the buoyancy headache is finally solved, time is very much against the rusty regiment. We're back out on the heap. There's a pallet over on the heap there, and there's another pallet there. We'll just take half an inch off this. In the build area, Bob and Rob are only now welding together the rims of their huge hamster wheel. Will you or won't you? <laughs> Aye. Aha. Great. How do you lovely. So, as the rusty regiment sweat bullets next door have paused for thought. So, we're happy with everything we've got for building. I mean, we've got enough steel got enough to make wheels. the frames up, etc. Yeah. Really, we're just short of seats, aren't we? Uh, yeah. No, we're not. I think we should just blag these. I think we should just steal the seats up to give them a proper look. I'll just oh, yeah. cut them off and weld them on, <laughs> aren't I? Yeah, just, oh, just, just pull them on, man. Wait, so yeah. wait. They go straight on. Right, oh, yeah. oh. With the seating arrangements sorted, Wolf Justice are sitting pretty. Can they keep their wet noses in front? Or will the military vehicle enthusiasts from Berkshire, the Rusty Regiment, pull them to heel? Is this all you've done? 
Come on. Who's waiting for you? Come on. Join us after the break to find out. Robert, dear, are we lost? No, dear. There's just there's very few signs around here. Well, let's hope our teams don't lose direction as they embark on a very tricky build. They have to construct man-powered amphibious vehicles fit to tackle a course which will test the most competent of scrappy competitors. This series winners, the Rusty Regiment, along with their expert Rob, are building a huge hamster wheel, attaching floats on the sides and using two small wheels on the back for steering. After a good start, their scavenge nosedived. Paul and Check struggled to find flotation material. Check, I can't see that working. And progress on the build is slow going. Is this all you've done? Come on. Meanwhile, reigning scrap heap champion of champions, Woof Justice, with their expert Nick, are constructing a lightweight, four men, independent drive, pedalo. These boys are showing their pedigree. Captain Simon adapted well to life on the heap. Here you go. And with the scavenge finished, they're cracking on with their complicated build. The finished messing doing that, Jeff? No, not yet. Jeff is cutting out wheel discs to fit in bicycle rims, while Simon and expert Nick are drawing pretty patterns on them. How, how much closer do you want to put it? Well, it's, well, it's there, isn't it? With a rough idea of the centres on the discs, the paddles can be fitted. So, there you are, mate. Oh, brilliant. Oh, There's going to be enough push on that, isn't there? Despite a good work rate, the intricacy of what Justice is build means they still have a lot to do. But at least they're getting on with it, which is more than we can say about the rusty regiment. OK. OK, you want thin pipe, don't you? You don't want heavy pipe. Scaffold no. tube's too heavy. Too heavy. They need a load of steel to make a pontoon which will support their large hamster wheel once in the water. So, lots of steel. I'm not hanging about you losers anymore. Get on and do some work. So, with the rusty regiment still out scavenging and Wolf Justice deep into tackling their complicated build, how does our judge see each team progressing? Now, Doug, as a casual outside observer, I'm witnessing Wolf Justice, really tight professional team one side, and on the other side, the Rusty Regiment. <laughs> they haven't really done that much yet. No, I'm not sure. They, their design seems to be getting heavier and heavier all the time. Because they, they've got to get so much flotation on that because it's such a heavy machine. They're going to be nigh on a ton in weight. They've got at least a cubic metre of buoyancy that they've got to put onto that. Right. Our judge has hit upon the testing challenge, which each team must overcome. It's obvious an amphibious vehicle needs to float. But to work effectively, each machine must have the correct buoyancy. If they float too high, the paddles won't hit the water. Too low, and there will be too much water resistance on the paddles. Oh, dear. Now, Wolf Justice seems to be working together really well. Very smooth indeed. They all know what they're doing. Their machine is just so lightweight as well. They're, they're, they're building a machine which I think is going to be at least a third of the weight of the uh, Rusty Regiment machine. So Wolf Justice at the moment have got your 50p. I think Wolf Justice are creeping in advance now, definitely, right. yeah. <laughs> but obviously we see what happens. The Geordie Canine Coppers are going to need all the encouragement they can get. As Jeff perseveres with the wheels, the rest of the team embark on constructing their complicated, lightweight, articulated chassis. Simon, I'll tell you what to do. A couple of bits of gas steel down the outside, tack it together where we want it, then we'll build a pivot while it's tacked together so we know what's going on. Ready? Yeah. Oh, Would you not agree? It's a bridge. Uh, it it's is. A, it's a swing bridge to go across the Tyne. We're not actually going to paddle in the water, we're just going to... Just, just bridge the water. The yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain it to me, though? Yeah, we'll get the chairs. Vehicle. We'll get the chairs. Have you, have you put chairs in? There. We'll Are clear. you all facing the same way? All yes. first forward, yes. Wow. Sitting here. It's a wheeled pedal, apparently. Push, push yeah. bikes in front of us, paddles. Right. Giving it this. Yeah. Wheels here. Yeah. What Jeff's been making. And then... Uh, when we come to turn, and we'll have a big T piece on the back here. Yeah. Neil, jump up a second, please. So, when he pulls on that side, and 
that turns it. And it turns it there. Fantastic. Grab hold of one side, because I'm, I'm not nine foot high. With all of their components back, the Rusty Regiment can finally begin some real work. Except time is not on their side. Uh, teams, you might like to know you have four hours remaining. Hey, hey. Plenty of time. Fantastic. <laughs> what we're going to have to make sure yeah. is these first couple go on straight. Right, back that way a bit, Chet. Lift that up so that bar's parallel. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. Um, it's not going to be 100% right. Having all hands to the pump seems to be paying off for the rusty regiment as they piece their giant hamster wheel together. Well, that's You're fine there. for me, that's fine for me. Rusty regiment! Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Oh, hello. Just this in is time. definitely looking like a hamster wheel. Is there going to be enough room for the four of you in here? No, there's only going to be three of us in here now. We have a steering person too. Ah. Steering person. So, Paul, you're going to be on the little wheel at the back. That's what they said. OK. So, what else do we need to do to this? The, the orange stuff we've got down there has got to be an A-frame, which we build Two onto the A's. pontoons. So the pontoon goes right the way round, and then I stand on the back and I steer it and... With a kind of rugby type thing. Wait. Yeah. OK, I'll let you get on with it, Rusty Regiment. Thank and you I very much. you at the end of the build. Well done. Thank you. OK. Bye-bye. Oh, it's going to hey. be a pivot. It's going to be a cunny pivot on that, man. Next door, the complexity of Wolf Justice's lightweight articulated chassis is eating up valuable build time, but Captain Simon is still not satisfied. Have a look. There's loads of play on that joint. And, I mean, we're quite happy with a little bit of play on that. Better to be safe than sorry, these meticulous canine coppers decide to test the strength of the vital pivot. Hey, would, would you dare for me and Jeff to get on there at all? Make sure. Yeah. Go on. But if we move so, forward so, on the ne nearly onto the pivot, so we're not going to... Uh, just, just move a foot length forward. It's a disaster for Wolf Justice. Do you think anybody's got any fresh underpants? <laughs> <laughs> Hours of craftsmanship is destroyed in seconds. So, what we're going to do? And as if to rub their wet noses in it... The Rusty Regiment are making a far more positive impact on their build. Oh, dear, this is all good. Knock it. Yeah. There we go. Yep. That's through, is that? With the central spindle in place, the team's attention turns to the paddles. Right, move around to the next one, whatever that one is. And once the giant hamster wheel is complete, they're straight on to building the pontoon to go around it. So what we'll do, that up to there, weld over here, down there. Okay. Are you sure about that? Yeah. The Rusty Regiment have proved all series they're masters of pulling a vehicle out of the bag at the last minute. And it looks as though their simple design is helping them to do it again. But is this relentless pace proving too much? So no, don't go up underneath, it goes up the side. Well, that's where the... No, 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 that's just, just that's something they cut is, in. That's where it is. That's where it is, that's exactly 99 and a half. Yeah, but you can't have that lower when that side's higher, can you? Bob, I'm putting it there to lift it up in the air to weld it. Oh, right. Do... You didn't say I can't, I can't hold tape, well, balance yeah, talk that, to me. do that. Talk, that, talk to me. I just did Talk that. to me and I Bob, will hold it for Bob, you. I will... OK, will you hold that, please? I'll go and sort everything else out. So as the military machine enthusiasts launch toys from their camouflaged prams... A minor spat for Wolf Justice would be a blessing as they try to solve their earlier catastrophe. Take this off, weld that to this half, and then that'll just slot straight on. Put the nut back on. Yeah? Rebuilding the vital pivot from scratch means time is against Wolf Justice. Another setback now could spell the end of their challenge. That's kind of it, isn't it? It's a huge relief, but with so much still to do... Put two bars, one front, one back. 
back to the rotate. Has choosing such a complex design meant these canine coppers have bitten off more than they can chew? <laughs> As the teams don't have engines to assist them, there's also a whole plethora of inspiring creations that are human-powered. It never ceases to amaze what man can achieve when time isn't an issue. Uh, teams, your attention please, I have a bit of information for you. You have one hour remaining. The Rusty Regiment have quit quarrelling and their build is a blitzkrieg. That's getting heavy. What, something else uh, heavy on the boat? <laughs> You've got to be joking. As expert Rob attaches steering suitable for land... Is this a rudder? Oh, it looks like oh, one to me. looks like the front of a push bike, mate. Hang Czech on turns his attention to water. But we can weld that to that. Bargain. That's perfect. Well, that one would be our rate on that side. By contrast, Woof Justice's complex build is bogging them down. Just hit, put your heel on it. It's supposed to be slightly bent, isn't it? Yeah. It's the right sort of position. They're tailor fitting each and every bike transmission. That's not bad. Yep. Next. Who's sitting next to me? You have to admire this show of dogged determination by Woof Justice, but finishing their build on time is looking doubtful. Now, it seems to be today, though, that the Wolf Justice have been in the lead in terms of the build all day. But, I mean, the, the Rusty Regiment have caught up a bit. Well, they've recently. caught up tremendously. I mean, theirs is a much more simple engineering concept. Yeah. It's like a sort of bad Huckleberry Finn acid trip. I don't think I'd take this down the Mississippi, mate. The Wolf Justice were doing an awful lot of bits and pieces and sprockets and chains and wheels, which take a lot of time in fiddling about. Mm. But they seem almost to have slowed up now. They're actually fitting it onto the machine. Who would you put your 50p on now? If the wheel works, and the wheel works properly, it could still do a very good showing. But I think Worth Justice will do it, because I think they've got a more manoeuvrable machine. Right, we need a framework for here. It's difficult to see Woof Justice manoeuvring anywhere, as their machine is still in pieces. They made the tyres as flat. Whilst the military vehicle enthusiasts from Berkshire have only the finishing touches to complete. Right, to get myself a nice city down chair job. E now, these Rusty Regiment have been working very, very, very hard, and they have almost finished their machine. I mean, like, really almost finished their no. machine. Yeah. I'm astonished. So you was a Boy Scout, was you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was. If they had to go in the water now, it would work. It's I absolutely am extraordinary. Completely astonished. Yeah. Oh, mate, I'm going to be like the main man. The poor old woofs, because you know they're pivot broke. Yes, yeah, that must have been a bit of a setback. Yeah. Whoever's designed this must be a monkey made. Yep. Just the building the wheels, I think they completely underestimated how long that was going to take. Is there anything here that actually works? Yeah, that is a great shame, isn't it? I mean, it, it's so much more complicated machine. Right, there's one of the paddles is slightly too long, but we'll just cut that paddle off here. I really hope they can pull it out of the bag in yeah. the last few minutes and, and pull it together in the time tomorrow. Yeah. It goes round. It does go round, doesn't it? Bob, if you get inside, we can have a little paddle on it. Are we? Well, we can't. We Can't we have a little rock around on it to see if it, how it works? The regiment boys might do it again. Well, they might just do it again. With just seconds remaining, the rusty regiment are giving their machine a test. Well, I'll tell you what, she's going to have trouble turning corners. No, yeah, but, but she'll be OK when she's in motion. Just lie them together and then we'll just tip them up. Can Wolf Justice finish their vehicle in time? Oh, oh very late, very late. Yeah, I watch your legs. It does. Put it up. Just kick it on, Nanny. I think that works. Yep, that'll do. That'll, that'll do. do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll do. OK, teams, hold it there. Your time is up and work on your amphibious vehicles must now stop. Yay! Let's hope you're ready to sweat and strain as you push your human-powered vehicles to the limit in tomorrow's Grand Final! Well done, teams! Hey. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, mate. So, are we supposed to power this as well? Or do they get someone else? No, they get, they get little men in to do that. Oh, thing, well, that's all right. Yeah.
It's been a rip-roaring ten hours for our two teams who've managed to build fantastic Manphibious machines. But who'll sink and who'll swim in tomorrow's test? Will the current champion of champions, Woof Justice's all-terrain pedalo, give them the lead? Or will this season's winners, the Rusty Regiment's giant hamster wheel, spin them into the Scrap Heap history books? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the Scrap Heap Challenge Grand Final, where our two teams are just minutes away from racing on land and water in their human-powered amphibious vehicles. This Grand Final will be an intense head-to-head. -head. The first part of the race will be on land and involves crossing this tricky speed bump. It has just enough space for one amphibious craft to cross, so it's guaranteed to be a squeeze. Once safely over, each team must take the plunge and, using all the muscle they've got, drive across our body of water. Then they'll race back to pick up the coveted Rings of Steel trophy. Both teams have the obligatory one hour of tinkering time and the current champion of champions, Wolf Justice, are chasing their tails. So we're quite happy with that for the right height. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously nice we don't want to be too low in the water, do we? The Rusty Regiment, on the other hand, finished their build. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. It works. It goes. <laughs> <We're away. laughs> and having wrapped mesh around the inside of their giant hamster wheel, have only its aesthetics to worry about. It's surprising what you can do with paints, really, isn't it? Covers a multitude of sins. It, it might be hard for a lot of people, though, to understand how exciting these machines are, because they don't look spectacular in terms of their kind of streamlining. Or they're, really, they're really back to basic scrappy. Backyard mechanics, sort of, at its very, very best. Two and a half inches. We're happy with that. No. Tap one out. I mean, the Wolf Justice machine, I can't guess from looking at it where it's going to float, but it somehow looks to me like it's going to be lower than higher. I don't know why. Well, I think so. <laughs> they might be putting something extra on it, but I don't know. Yeah. It's difficult well, to tell. I, I still think it's a genius machine. It's, it's a very fine, very, very complicated yeah. machine, actually. It is, isn't it? It's really, I mean, mm. the, the difference between the two is colossal, because that is very complicated. Hundreds yep. of moving parts. They're literally. Here, with, <laughs> with, with the rusty regiment. Root mechanics, but it's, it's not just, much to go wrong. Just, have you got any difference in predictions today, now you've seen the finished machines and the lake they've got to go in? I think, in terms of sheer control, this one probably will take the day, but this is a mighty effort, and yes. it's going to be absolutely <laughs> fantastic to watch. Both our teams are primed and ready for action. Can the Geordie canine coppers defend their crown, or will the military vehicle enthusiasts from Berkshire blast their way into the scrap heap history books? Teams, may your paddles carry you to ultimate victory. Go on the sound of the horn in three, two, one. Woof Justice bound into the lead. But the Rusty Regiment are in hot pursuit. It's Woof Justice with the early advantage. Nice line up to the ramp. It is, yes. Oh, yes. Very neat. Very neat. Very neat. But the Rusty Regiment are very close behind. Here comes the wheel. Going now, they've got to put some pressure on to get it up there. They have got to get the pressure. They've got it. No, they've got it. Oh, but they're finding the bridge a struggle. Go on, four wheel drive. Good and job. just look at Woof well. Justice. Ah, oh, nice gentle entry. The rusty regiment have got some catching up to do. Those Geordie canine coppers are sailing away with it. Chin snapped. Right, ah, uh, now there seems no. to be some technical problem. They're actually hand turning one of their paddles, which is not good. That means one of the chains may have come the off. Chains come off, yeah. And look who's on the warpath. There they go, there goes the wheel. I think it's actually for them, it's a relief to be in the water. That's it, keep the rhythm. It is working and they do seem to be gaining on with justice. The military vehicle enthusiasts are going great guns. They're coming up behind. Come on. They're doing well. The coordination of these three is brilliant. They're like well-oiled pistons. How she steer, Paul? Okay. Oh, just as things were going Come so on, well. Up you get, up you get, fella. Up you get. Up you get. 
Up you get. But Wolf Justice is still struggling with that wheel. Your wheel, Neil. Can the rusty regiment recover? Checks over them. Checks over them. Up, 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 stand up, stand up. Robert and Lisa, it looked a bit like uh, the, the Wolf Justice had a chain come up one of the panels. Is that what happened? Can you see? Jeff did seem to be turning his wheel with his hands. Either way, they seem to be progressing reasonably well without that chain. I'm not sure the same except for the Rusty Regiment, who look completely exhausted already and they haven't even made it to the turn. <laughs> Three wheels are proving better than one, as Wolf Justice show their doggy paddling pedigree. Come on! We've got Wolf Justice approaching the finish line already. Come on, fighting! Oh, well done, Wolf Justice, clearly justifying their place as grand final champions. But they've still got to get onto the beach and grab the Rings of Steel trophy. Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go Woof Justice have done it! But you've got to hand it to the Rusty Regiment. They're not giving up. Nearly there. Come on! Come on, you giant green hamsters! Hold it, Bob down. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the hamster routine. <laughs> what a truly valiant effort from the Rusty Regiment. Cheers, chaps. Now we were sure that manphibious machines <laughs> you weren't going to be able to do. But, yet again, you have proved us wrong. You made two machines that both worked beautifully. So it's fair to say there aren't really any losers this week. Well done, teams. <laughs> so this year's grand final champion of champions are... the amazing, the incredible, Wolf Justice! <laughs> The Rusty Regiment never looked like firm favourites. We have got to get our backsides in gear. But through simple design, one threw to the grand final and charmed us along the way with their own unique sparkle. <laughs> but it wasn't to be. As Woof Justice proved with dogged determination, they're best in show. And one thing is certain, it's going to take a titanic team of tinkerers to overhaul these top dogs. Yeah!